need to pick this room up. What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we have a video that me and Brad have been talking about for a very long time. What the hell's up with my hair? I got like an emo Peter Parker, Tobey Maguire situation going on. So today, man, we have a video that I've been wanting to do on the channel for a very long time now. If you guys did not know, I am a sneakerhead. I've always loved shoes, and specifically like basketball shoes, you know, Kobe's, Jordan's. Growing up as a kid, I always loved basketball. I always loved Kobe. Bryant is my favorite player of all time and with that I became a sneakerhead I became a sneakerhead because I loved Kobe I loved the shoe line that he put out with Nike and I was always constantly buying pairs my friends always borrowed my shoes I would have so many different pairs of Kobe so many different pairs of basketball shoes I was constantly hooping and I was constantly buying new shoes and wearing them and trying them you know having swag on the football field having swag on the basketball court I'm all about the swag which is why I love gears and attires and stuff in wrestling because it all kind of translates you know their athletes perform in their sport and I like when my favorite guys look good and when people wear certain gears to the ring man and that kind of is where my correlation comes between my athletic background and wrestling to kind of merge the two together sneakerheads swag on the field as an athlete in the ring as a wrestler you guys get what I'm saying that all kinds of transpires that's what that's where those worlds connect right there with me and my personal life now I don't have every single shoe that I've ever owned as far as Kobe's and, and different basketball shoes over the years but I still have a closet full of you know selective shoes and stuff like like that all right so kobe's are my first love but at the same time you know i do dabble in some other lines as well but kobe kobe's my first love so i have a, a ton of kobe's though but we do have some lebrons we have some Kyrie's and stuff like that man but yeah you know kobe kobe's the goat there for me but at the same time you know i, I do dabble in some others but we got some grail pieces in here and yeah I, just to, just to get the point across why the boot video came this is why because it I, I love i love shoes so maybe that made a believer out of you but i love shoes and with that i have always loved different guys wrestling boots so today brad convinced me to finally make this video we discuss it all the time and so i'm gonna do it i, I don't know if this is gonna be a ranking or just telling you my favorite boots so far i guess i can just go through and tell you my favorite wrestling boots that i've ever seen and my favorite ones over the years of my favorite performers this just has nothing to do with how big of a fan i am it's funny because a lot of people on the list are actually some of my favorite wrestlers of all time i don't think that has anything to do with it i think it's just a coincidence that those are my favorite wrestlers and they have awesome boots but i'm gonna run through the list these aren't in any particular order except for maybe Maybe the last few are my favorites. So we'll get into all that, man. But I'm going to break it down. And I'm going to kind of correlate it to the Mattel versions that we've gotten as well. I'll probably put in some side-by-side -side shots of the actual boots. I'll bring up images. I'll show you what they look like in figure form. And we'll just kind of have fun with it. Hope you guys enjoy this video. This video should be a lot of fun to make. I hope you guys enjoy the ride. Let's go ahead and dive into my personal favorite and the best-looking wrestling boots of all time. Now, just a disclaimer before we start. I'm not going to count, like, people that actually wore basketball shoes or different shoes to the ring. Because that happens a lot you know a lot of the female wrestlers wear jordans and custom kicks and stuff like that i know that you know the new day and kofi john cena one of my favorites of all time has rocked some killer reeboks and all kinds of different shoes over the years batista has rocked some jays there's been a roman reigns in his nike boots these are just a few examples of that but i'm not going to include those on the list these are actual wrestling boots with the wrestling attire that i'm putting on this list so with that being said man let's go ahead and dive into it all right man so the first one on my list again these aren't in any like straight up pacific order until the end maybe i'd say but the, the, the first ones that I want to talk about are Hulk Hogan's NWO white and blue lightning nwo airbrush boots these boots are absolutely beautiful man i love these boots i've always thought that they were awesome growing up as a kid i thought they were excellent i think that the black ones are amazing as well but i don't think that they quite hit it like the white ones man the white ones are sick we have not seen these from mattel just yet i'm praying that we get into, we end up getting these in mattel figure form maybe in an ultimate edition maybe in the regular elite line but we have not seen these from mattel we have seen them from storm collectibles i believe on one of their hogan figures but we have not seen them in real life just yet from Mattel in plastic form so I want to see that take place and come to fruition but I always thought these were super clean I thought the airbrush was really clean and it created a beautiful contrast but Hulk Hogan had to be on my list next up is another legend in the ring and that is going to be Brett the Hitman Hart man these are such a clean look and one thing that I've always loved about shoes in general like whether they be basketball shoes or or things of that nature man I love a good contrast man a white toe cap is so 
disgusting to me. I think they're so sick. I have many shoes over the years, you know, they, they, these give me a real Jordan 11 vibe, the way that, you know, the patent black leather wraps around the boots. I think that that's really sweet. I love the white and pink and black. I just think it's a great contrast. All of his different gears look so sick with those white and pink and black boots. Throw in the star on the side. These are excellent. We have seen these from Mattel in multiple cases. I would like to see a more detailed pair with like some patent leather, you know, shiny black on there, but uh, I don't know if we'll ever get that. I may have to just customize that myself, but these are sick boots. I've always liked Bret Hart's boots, and these are these are a staple. Next up is a guy that you probably don't think about when you think of wrestling boots, but it's actually going to be Jeff Hardy. Jeff Hardy has worn a different combination of boots, but I love the way that his, similar to Bret Hart's, have the white and black contrast, and I know Mattel always gives him the damn kick pad feet, which gets on my last nerve. Spoiler alert, there's no kick pads on this list. This is actual boots. You know, kick pads, you can literally put on regular wrestling boots, and you can throw a design over the top. This is not going to be that, man. These are actually straight up boots, but I love Jeff Hardy's boots because of the multiple straps, right? I love the way that the straps, there's like six different straps going down the back side, and I just love the way they look. I've always thought they were super clean. I love the way they stick out of the bottom of his boots, too. I think it'd be cool if one day he just rocked the boots with some tights or tucked his jeans or something in there. I don't know, but his boots have always been fire. He's done double black. He's done some purple and black, and I've always liked his boots, man. I think they're awesome, especially with all the straps. The straps are undefeated. The next superstar I want to get into, man, is going to be Shawn Michaels. HBK does plenty of stuff, man. I hate that Mattel doesn't really give us the right boots, right? They always give them the kick pad mold and then they paint the flaps on there. But I'm actually talking about both versions of Shawn Michaels, whether you're talking about the dirt bike boots that he used to wear to the ring or the uh, the ones in his later years where he switched to the straps and the flaps, which are super sick. Yeah, you know, I think that the gray and the black and the gunmetal gray tones that he gets, and then you get those the reds and the whites and the blacks of his dirt bike boots. Always a clean look. Always super sick. Once he started rocking the long pants you know he hid his boots so you got to see the bottoms of the flaps you know the feet were the flaps same thing with Jeff Hardy they always give him the kick pad foot mold instead of actually giving us a new sculpt which I guess cuts down on production costs but I'd like them to do it at least once give us some brand new sculpted feet or boots for those guys and then you know you can keep that going down the line there and get rid of the kick pad mold but at the same time HBK's always rock some sick boots speaking of which Edge is another guy that rocked very similar boots to HBK uh they were like the your you know your like silver gunmetal gray color with black and then he threw some graphics over the top so it was a little bit different but we actually did get this from Mattel recently on his Legends figure and they actually painted the designs on just like HBK they paint the designs on but I have customs and stuff of the sculpts actually flapped on there I've used Dolph Ziggler boots before to create that flap look so this is something you can do if you want to you know make that design because Dolph Ziggler has similar boots like that but his you know his are a bit over the top however Edge here is is also sick and another guy that I also love is Rey Mysterio Mysterio. I think Rey Mysterio's boots are fantastic. We've seen his striped ones from Mattel, the black and white. I just think that's such a clean contrast, the way that it makes the stripes and, you know, it goes around there. It looks very clean. He's rocked many different colors. I think even Natalia, shout out to Natalia, because she's been rocking Rey's boots, that same brand of boot, but she's worn all pink ones. I hope we get those from Mattel. I think that would be really sweet if we get a new uh, Natalia Elite. I think throwing her pink boots on there, just like Rey's, would be really awesome, so hopefully we'll get that, but uh, they, they, these are sick. I think that the Rey boots boots are really sweet and they're different from what he used to rock back in the day. Another guy that's actually on the list that you probably wouldn't think about is Carlito. Carlito used to rock some swill some really sweet like purple and white boots. They had like white tips and they had like some stripes going up the side. They had the purple panels. It was really sweet. I, I don't think we've seen those in figure form just yet. Not even on a basic but I would love to see those from Mattel on a, a Carlito Elite man. That would be beautiful. Maybe a first time in the line. Maybe we can get him in here. Maybe give us the purple boots Mattel with the purple gear. I think that'd be sweet but Carlito is one of those under rated guys you don't think about. Another one of my favorites is going to be Triple H's white and black boots from WrestleMania 20. Such a clean look. He didn't do it maybe once or twice in his career, but at WrestleMania 20, this was a sweet look. I, I have a custom of this figure in those boots, and it's just so clean, man. The, the iron crosses on the side with the contrasting black and white, black laces, black outsoles. It just really looked sweet with his white tape and his black knee pads and all that stuff going on, man. What a beautiful gear. I, I think that this gear is sweet. I don't know how we don't have this yet from Mattel. We don't have any Triple H's from that era, but hopefully if we do get one, we get one from WrestleMania 20. Even give us a freaking I mean, I guess they probably wouldn't do it because of Crispin Wild, but maybe we could give a, a two-pack with Shawn Michaels and Triple H from that same night. That would be sweet. World Heavyweight title, Sledgehammer, Water Bottle. You can do some cool stuff there. Maybe some bloody head sculpts. I'm getting way too crazy with it. Next up are guys that are the kings of the straps, man. These guys right here 
have dominated the strap game with their boots, Bobby Lashley and Batista. Both of these guys have such sweet boots. I love the straps going down the sides. I think it fits big guys. Like when you see jacked Bobby Lashley and Batista coming down to the ring and both of them are rocking these boots with different colors with your whites and your blacks and your reds, your silvers all mixing together with their gear and they're jacked as hell to the ring and they got their title. They look awesome. I love uh, Batista's Vengeance 05 gear. His Great American Bash gear. That's probably my favorite boots he's ever worn with the white and red straps. I think he was fighting Mr. Kennedy. Those are really clean. Some that I wanted from Mattel. I have made customs of it, but I think that having a full-fledged one, since we're getting more Batistas, maybe that could be a gear that we see. I love it. I think that the boots look fantastic. Jax used to do the boots as well, and they're just so clean, man. As a sneakerhead, just loving shoes and the way they look and aesthetically pleasing and swag and attires and all that wrapped into one. These boots are always great. Lashley and Batista always have beautiful boots, and I look forward to Lashley every time he comes out because I know he's going to be rocking some sweet ones, and Batista always did the same as well. It's what it just, I, I love it. It's, it's beautiful. All right, guys, now we're diving into my top two favorite wrestling boots of all time. Coming in at the number two spot is one of my favorite wrestlers currently today, and that is going to be Dolph Ziggler. Yes, he came up earlier in the video. I didn't address it then, but I'm addressing it now. His boots are freaking fantastic. If I was a wrestler, these are the boots that I'd probably wear if I didn't wear some kick pads or something. These are amazing. They're a sort of a twist on Shawn Michaels and Edge's boots with the flaps. The way that they're white and then they have these hard black lines going around the edges. I just think it's so freaking clean. It makes his gear look super clean. I think that they fit Ziggler's character really well. They have a sort of rock star kind of feel to them, right? It's just a, it's just so clean. It, it, they're, they're so modern looking and clean and they fit his gear really, really well. I think they're fantastic. I love the black and white versions, but I think the white and black is my favorite versions. Trent actually also wears these from the best friends. I think Ziggler's are better. I think the white ones are better and they're just so clean. I can't it's, it's, that's just what it is and I love the flap so much I've had them custom sculpted onto my figures that I have so there's that but yeah Dolph Ziggler's boots had to be on there and coming in at the top of my list you may not know maybe you do know I don't I don't know if you know or not but my favorite wrestling boots of all time is going to be none other than Kurt Angle. These boots that he had, he, he started rocking them in 2001, I believe, but these are no so nostalgic for me. Every time I see these boots, I just think they're incredible. I think they look so damn good, man, with the red patent leather and the blue and the white and the way they, you know, they mix together with his gear. He looks amazing in them. I think it matches his, his attire perfectly all the time. Every time he wore these with any gear, didn't matter what gear he wore, these were beautiful and perfect, man. I love these. I told you I was a sucker for toe cap. That red toe cap just sets it all off. It wraps it up beautifully in a bow. And I hate the Mattel never made these in figure form. I it, like I have a few custom pair, but damn, I really want to see these in Mattel figure form. Maybe Kurt Angle could sign a Legends deal or something. We could get some more Kurt Angle figures. I hope these are the boots that they put on the damn figure if we get a Kurt Angle. I would love to see a Kurt Angle Ultimate Edition. You could throw these boots in there, have the toe articulation for these boots. God in heaven, that would be beautiful. That's what I want to see. But uh, Kurt Angle's boots are number one for me, man. Nostalgia thrown in there. It, it's just the boots. Everything wraps it up. Kurt Angle's beautiful. One of my favorite wrestlers of all time. And an honorable mention, if you want to throw in some kick pads, my favorite kick pads are Jericho's from back in the day and RVD's from back in the day. Or it's just plain black kick pads with the RVD going down the side or Rob Van Dam and then the Jericho going down the side for him. I thought that those were perfect too. We've seen those from Mattel with the Defining Moments Jericho. Those are just some honorable mentions there at the end. But damn, bro. I, I God, I, I, I just love Jericho shoes i love i love these wrestling boots these are the best ones of all time to me probably missed some you know again i'm not counting any regular shoes or kick pads maybe i can do a kick pads video if you guys want but these are wrestling boots my favorite wrestling boots of all time and uh, i know it's kind of a weird video but i'm glad i made it because i you know it's one of the videos that i've been wanting to make for a really long time me and brad wanted to so hopefully you guys enjoyed let me know if you have any favorite wrestling boots do you even look at wrestling boots uh, I don't know. You guys can let me know down in the comment section below, but I had a ton of fun making the video, and I'd love to know what you think of these boots as well as your favorite wrestling boots of all time. But I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I, I, I hope this inspires you to become a sneakerhead and start watching wrestlers' boots because they're awesome, man. If you take a closer look, it's not just boots on a wrestler. They look freaking sick sometimes, and just pay attention to that. But I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys next time, and see ya. You crossed the line. I've been